It's a long, long run day, but I did want to start this with how, but I did want to start this with how exciting it is that this will be the tenth daily upload that I've gotten done. We're on a good track. Here. Do you want me to get the door? <laughs> well, I have a million things in my hand. Oh, great. Let's go for a run. <clears throat> Whoa, six speed, too. <clears throat> so, Aaron just gave me like a very quick rundown on what we are going to run. And I've certainly been there before. Not something I would have ever considered running on before. So, this, this uh, logistically takes two cars. We run from one car. Dog. Dog. To the next car in a distance of anywhere from 25 to 30 kilometers on treacherous trails that, again, I did not think I would ever be running on. You couldn't bring your bike there if you wanted to. You could not bring your bike there if you wanted to. We originally, like, Aaron was over at the house on Monday. We talked about doing this, and the idea was, well, let's go do like 5K on the mountain bike trails around here just to get our feet wet. We omitted that completely, and we're doing this now. We're very good at planning. <laughs> Nobody steal that stuff. Are you running with that on? Yeah, man. Are you serious? 100% serious. It's just three liters of water, some, some toilet paper, extra toilet paper, a couple of bars. Oh my God. A little shell. What's that for? That's in case you forgot your water because, <laughs> because you <laughs> are right. who you are. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think most importantly, you guys look great. I look great. And I think, Liam, you're fairly stretched enough. Oh, yes. I see no reason to do it, so. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's just 25 kilometers of this. Oh. Should be fine. Oh, no. I, know what you're talking about. I do just want to make it clear how weird it is to be on a trail without a mountain bike. You asked me that when we were talking about doing this. I said it wouldn't be weird. It is weird. <laughs> yeah, this, this would be the spot to open up. We are 2.29 kilometers in. Don't turn on the afterburners. <laughs> Kilometer seven and a half, fantastic bridge. Trail loop number two of three. Kilometer ten. Fifteen K in, two hours and fifty five minutes elapsed based on us not necessarily knowing how long this really is between 25 or 30K. Best case scenario, we are far, far past the midway point. Worst case scenario, we're right in the middle. Wow. Let's go, I guess. Whoa! <laughs> And that's it. On the rails, the trails now. Off of that single track run. This is easily the hardest thing I've done this year. Man, my legs were just like 
Get out, get out, get out. Oh my god. That last bit. Well done, man. You picked the right way to get back. Yeah. <laughs> Angela had this sourdough pizza planned for the last five days or so, and here it is. And I don't know that I've ever been so happy to see pizza. Okay, as my, as my legs are sitting here burning from a, at least probably 22 to 24 kilometer run through treacherous single track woods, I wanna end this vlog with three things. One, thanks for, thanks for watching the whole thing. I understand that it's not everybody's favorite thing, but it's daily uploads. If you don't like certain content, you can just skip to the next day or go back to the previous day and it'll be something you kind of like. It, it all works out pretty good. Two, Aaron, Aaron is unbelievably fit. Aaron, I hope you're watching this right now. I was blown away by your progress. I know I said that to you on the trail today, but I think it's worth mentioning again that you are a Unbelievable trail runner. Great work. Three, this is what we actually actually ran. I'm sure you can you can see it or you here are the split times for like the last half. Obviously slowing down quite a bit near the end. What I ended up doing was 21.7 kilometers. Started my watch a tiny little bit later. Total elapsed time of five hours and ten minutes. This event is put on every year except for this year by a, a community friend, Andrew Myatt, who is a phenomenal bike mechanic and just overall a good person because he puts on events and he's a very good bike mechanic. And there's this article that was written about the Muffin Run event on maritimerunner.ca that ends with Andrew saying, there's usually 25 to 35 participants and there's lots of room for more. If you need something to add to your to-do list, this is a very rewarding challenge. I couldn't agree more. If you feel like you wanna be in the Muscadabit Harbor area, check out the Mega Muffin Run. Like, there's a, there's a way to figure out how to get to it. I'm probably not gonna to link to any of it. Or like wherever you're at, if you are like against running or something, like go try a trail run. Might be something to, might be something to kill some time with if your bike is broken, who knows. All right, I'm gonna finish this video with Norton's face. You have to look, you actually have to look at the lens because it's awkward when you look at yourself. <laughs>